In this video, we are going to create custom auto tabs in Webflow without coding. We're generating the auto tabs using FinSuite Components app and styling them in Webflow Designer just like native elements. First, click on Apps and open the FinSuite Components app. Go to the Builder. Select Auto Tabs. Here in the Configuration panel, we can see the general settings. We can change the name of the component, the instance name, and the class folder. The class folder serves as the prefix that will be added to the classes for better organization. We can change layout to vertical and content to CMS. Change settings of the automatic timer and the progress bar. For the progress bar, I'll change direction to vertical and change to ease. We can see the component working on this preview and interact with it to test our solution. I'll select the hero wrapper. Now let's generate our auto tabs. Done. In the instance, let's remove the max width. Select the tab wrapper, go to settings, and connect to a CMS collection. Select the content wrapper and connect to the same CMS. This is important. The CMS collection should be the same for the tab links and for the tab content. In the content item, let's remove the background color the height and add an image. Now we can remove the placeholder. I'll name this image FS tabs underscore image. Change width to 100% and connect to the image CMS field. Still in the image, let's change radius to one rem. Great, you will see that our solution adds one tab content below the other. The magic only works on the published website. Now let's style the tabs. Select the tab list, remove min width, and change width to 24 rem. Select the tab item, remove the background, add border, color dark gray, radius one rem, change color to white, and gap 1.5 rem. On this tab, I would like to add a paragraph with a description. To do that, let's add a div block and name it FS tabs underscore column. Change to flex vertical, align left, and gap 1.5 rem. Now let's get the title and move to this column. Connect to the name CMS field. Increase title to 1.125 rem and font weight to semi bold. Add a paragraph. Connect the paragraph to your description CMS field Name it FS tabs underscore description and change opacity to 70%. Great, we can style the progress bar. Select progress bar fill, change color to purple. Select the progress bar. Change color to gray and 50% opacity. Cool, let's publish and check this working. Nice, working well. We can improve timing and interactions now. Select the tab item and add the combo classes tab active. This class will contain the styles of the active state of the tab item when the tab item is selected. So when selected, I want this tab to be background color white and text color black. Let's now style our tabs to only show the description when active. And when not active, 
Without active class, we can limit the height and max height. When active, we change the max height to none. And also increase the transition duration to 500 milliseconds so that the animation happens smoothly. Let's see this live. Great, now our auto tabs changes the color when active and also changes the height of tab to only show the description on active state. Cool. We can do the same with the tab content. Go to Webflow. Let's select the tab content item and add the combo class's content active. You can find the active states classes in the active state section in our app. For the tab content, I'll style how I want when active and inactive. When not active, I want to move down one rem and opacity 0%. And when active, I want opacity 100%. And move back to zero rem. And we can control the time of the animation on transitions. Let's select all properties in duration 1200 milliseconds. Let's publish and check our updates. Cool, now our auto tabs have a smooth transition. When tab changes, it goes up with a fade in effect. You can change all styles you want in the active state, which gives you a lot of styling control over your component. And in case you need to change any configuration, keep the auto tab selected in the canvas and open the components app in edit mode. You can change the duration of the automatic timer to 4000 milliseconds, for example, and click to update. Great, we just implemented a very custom auto tabs in minutes. FinSuite Components comes with a full library of pre-built components to speed up your builds. Open the FinSuite Components app. Go to Library. And preview options like marquees, sliders, and more. Like this auto tabs component that's coming soon. Just select the component, choose where you want it on the page, and click Confirm. The component is instantly generated in your Webflow project, ready to publish and working right away. FinSuite Components is always free with your .io staging domain. We will never charge you to test and build your components. When you are ready to go live, get a plan to publish to production. You are one step closer to building next level components inside your Webflow project. You can download FinSuite components from the Webflow app marketplace, and those links are in the description below. Go to finsuite.com components to learn how we can help you succeed with Webflow.